I uh, did my hair for this one. You did your hair? Yeah. You put gel in it or no? I'll you bit, woke up and showered. Pomade. That's what, that's what I, you call it. I only used soap once. I did once. my hair. <laughs> you use soap in your hair? I, yeah. Body. You know that detergent? You know that, what is it? That squatch soap or whatever that you see ads for all the time? That was, that, that was your choice. Yeah. It was just like Who needs shampoo? Soap. You're a caveman. <laughs> uh, was this the barbaric podcast? What is this? No, I know what it is. Oh. But I'm saying because you use soap in your hair like an animal. Animals definitely don't use soap in their hair. Depends who you ask. I mean, Platypus is definitely I think do. I think they did for Exxon Valdez. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this is Trevor Glassman. If you didn't watch the clip before, um, he does stand up comedy. We're acquaintances. Uh, we communicate via messages. Um, yeah. Okay. We so I did earlier in the show. You didn't see. It. We're recording two days before three, four, five days before this actually comes out. Um, we're friends by the way. Oh yeah. I was I waiting for that part. No, I that's why I, I, I didn't want an awkward smile for wanna, 45 seconds. I didn't want them to know that. Okay. I want to make sure people know that I'm available yeah. for friends. For your sake, you don't want to be associated with me. I totally no, no, no. It's not about you. It's about, no, me. it is. It totally is. You're right. It is. Your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really wrong. It totally is about me. Well, <laughs> Like I was saying, though, we, we recorded, I record recording this multiple days before the actual podcast comes out. And uh, I talked about the news, things that happened in the news. Hopefully this could go really bad. No one could ever see that section. I, but do you have any claims <laughs> about the news that's going to happen in the next five days? Do you think there's anything that I, that we should be talking about right now that hasn't happened yet, but that probably did in the news? Yeah. Um, alternative perspective. I'd probably go with, we shouldn't even watch the news. <laughs> That's like how I'm kind of building. It. I'm like, how do I talk about the news and act like I don't care? <laughs> because I think that was the wrong question to ask me. Because my opinion is we should focus on our normal lives and make our normal lives better instead of so crying think- why gas prices are three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think that we should be talking about any nuclear explosion, any um, controversy, impeachment, nothing like that. Nothing no, happened. Dude, let it happen. You don't, yeah. yeah, we don't care. Okay. Are any of us going to the White House or any of us dodging the nuclear, the nuclear bomb well, the if it happens? Out. No. Nu- the White House is coming out there. Uh, Biden said they didn't do a good enough job. Obama didn't do a good enough job talking about uh, the stimulus package they put out in during the recession. So they're doing a campaign called uh, Shots in the Arm, Money in the Pocket, which I think is Joe Biden's like <laughs> attempt at a rap album. <laughs> That's what the campaign is called. <laughs> Shots in the arm, money in the pocket. Is, is that, that real? Yeah. You're not lying. No, I looked it up last night. I would have laughed way harder if you made that up. And I, now I'm kind of just nervous. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, dude? I um, I think it's fascinating though. Like that's that's the, <laughs> the, the choice. That's one word to use. I, like I read it one time. Like, oh, I want to do a longer section about that because that's a fantastic name. That sounds. Who's gonna be the first rapper with a gold chain and as a vaccine needle, as an emblem? I mean, needles probably are you, kind of fire. I'm. I guess no, no not the needles. For- the chain needle would be kind of fire. Actual needles, know. no thanks. I uh, I don't know. That's I, real. That's you're you're totally serious. That's what the campaign's yeah, called. Yeah. I uh, oh, I didn't save the link. Um, yeah, I uh, it's real, and I I read it in one article. And was like, oh, I'm fascinated to learn a whole lot more about this, and then saw that the campaign name wasn't used anywhere else. But it was like it was. In this is all. It's all entertainment. I'm out on. I it. mean, it's, it's all really, entertainment. But that's that's the stance I took. I'm like. It is entertaining. At least they're saying on the surface, they're like, we're doing a campaign so Americans know why so we can get reelected. I'm like, at least you said it this time. Yeah, I'd rather the honesty come out than yeah. we lie forever. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, <laughs> so I had a question for you, and this is going to sound mean, but uh, you know, this is, this is a part of why I brought you on here, and you're actually very good at this. Yeah. Uh, uh, self-promotion. You're, you're very good at that. Am I? I think so. You're better than... You're, you're good in, like your networking skills. You're oh, very yeah, good yeah. at that. You've I'm been in a lot good, of different yeah, yeah. scenes. That's true. Um, I wasn't good for enough people for people that one. don't know what a scene is you and scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, um, but I, because people be on, you'll go into normal podcasts and be like, hey, this is, this is why you, sh-, like, this is what I do. This is my stuff. I don't, I want to reverse engineer that and be like, why should people care about you 
as a comedian? It's going to sound me, like I said, but you're like, it's self-promotion here. Like, how do you pitch yourself? Uh, yeah. I mean, I would say that they totally shouldn't. Like, <laughs> That's exactly how yeah. I feel. I'm like, I would say, not. I would say they shouldn't care about anything. They should come watch me and have a fun time. But, uh, thank you but for no the backhanded one, compliment. That's, I'll take it. And, uh, I will say this, my style that is evolving as, as every interview that I self promote on, it's changing constantly. <laughs> Right now, I have kind of a, a darker sense, but also kind of like a mindless sense of humor where I'll talk about some, you know, real, some darker stuff that happened in my personal life and then nonsensical stuff that I just think is absurd that happens that has no relevance at all. And it's just funny. So we're here to have a good time. I'm I, not here to get on a pedestal or anything. I, uh, yeah. I bent over to barf as you were talking about that, not to adjust the. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. Well, all right. Well, I can't uh, smell. So. Clearly, clearly, can you? Can you not? No, I, can smell I want now. them to freak out. Of course, I can smell. You didn't barf. Don't lie to them. I mean, that's, that's, that's a part for. of I lied. stand up. I lied to the camera. Now they all think I have COVID, and now we're three feet apart. Come on. Well, hundred. Uh, we could get Look shots at him, in the he's arm. Sweating. He's sweating. <laughs> he's sweating. <laughs> <laughs> we could get shots in the arm and money in our pockets. Yeah, so we're good. I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. And a couple, a couple chains. I am. Um, all right. Well, I didn't. I didn't actually bring you on for self promotion. I didn't want to talk about marketing a little bit because you're good at that. Like, networking. would you come see me after that message that I told them that they shouldn't care, and then I told them why they kind of should? I kind of humble of me, right? Well, uh, by the way, you should totally care about me. Yeah, I mean that's that's really what I expect. <laughs> but. Uh, I, I'm I'm big now and like a part of this podcast too is about trying to market comedians more like get get yourself out there further and like find ways to do that strategically so people do care about comedians. Um and I think getting like finding that balance of self promotion is is important. And uh the other piece of that is networking though, which you've actually been able to do in a lot of different scenes. And it's going to tie into something bigger teaser. Um, I hardly know her. I hate myself for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I just met her that night. But what, what, is, what would you say is actually important in your style? Like actually going up, you came down to Florida. We came down to Florida around the same time and being able to get on shows where people do see you. Like what, it, what's important for you in doing that? What's important is that well first of all i think what's cool about comedy is part of networking can be hard because you don't really like to talk to the people that yeah you're talking with and it can almost come off as fake like you put on the smile and then you're like oh what's up where do you work why are we still here it's been 45 seconds longer than i wanted to speak to you but uh or vice versa <laughs> in many cases uh but especially people that come to the show. You're like, hey. it's like <laughs> I appreciate you, but they're like, that was interesting. I'm like, yeah, they're like, that was really good. I'm like, don't leave yet. I need to talk to this longer so I can be happy. Um, but going around with com comedians and talking and networking with them, like they're really cool for a majority of the time. So yeah. it's fun to talk with them. And the, if you do, if you're lucky enough to get on or you're lucky enough to contribute to what they have going on, you know, you want to give it your best and give it everything that, you know, you represent so that people that see you that have never seen you before have a really good first impression. Yeah. Like all of our viewers. I, uh, well, that's, that's the thing I was forgetting. Like I switched my question because I completely forgot what I was going to say, which is really good, but that's I, good though. Yeah. That's what it's good, all about. Right? Yeah. Right? I, you know, I thought it was planned. Yeah. No, uh, but I think, I think that's a big thing. You're like, People, when they come see your show, anyone's show, and they're like, I like that comedian, should be extra supportive. Like, the expectation should be, I'm here to have a good time, I'm here to laugh. And then if you like someone, don't be like, oh man, that was a cool comedian. I'm going to drive home now. Be like, follow them, like them, like, give them money. Yeah. Like, one of the things- Half I'm, the people forget anyways. Like, you tell them, you, you're, you say your name. Yeah. And then they forget They don't it. care. There's a whole show going no, on. It's- yeah. And the headliner is going to get most of the attention anyways. Yeah. I mean, well, depending on how the show is set up. Yeah. But, true. uh, yeah, I, I've been very, very on edge about not on edge. I, I've been upset about the whole idea of like art is the only thing that you, we should expect people to do only because they love it. Like you shouldn't care about money, which like you need to not care about it to get into it. But it, people start businesses because they have a passion, but their end goal is an exit that ends them money. We're like, why is art not just comedy but like music the only thing we're like you should just do it because you love it like pat you on the back like that's it 
Yeah. Like, well, that's society talking. Yeah. Society points you into the more practical things. Yeah. But that's why artists are so great because that's that expression comes from the opposite end of not being able to really, you know, show those emotions or show those ideas anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I brought you in the show because you're good at networking. Uh, cause I know you more compliments, please. <laughs> <laughs> but also because we are friends yeah. and something I've also been really fascinated about recently is the idea of being mean is actually nice. And that's like a really overarching yes, thing. Thank you. <laughs> right. Thank you for fun. For it. I mean, okay. Did you ever play not to hijack this, but did you ever play it's your interview so. Xbox live in 2008? To 2010. No. It sounds like Twitter today, though, from everything I've heard. Dude, the lobbies in the, in these Xbox Live rooms were filled with the most horrific things that you could possibly say to somebody. And it was like a little, it was almost bonding. Like you bond with a stranger that's roasting you halfway that's, across the country. That's the thing. I, I want to learn more. Eventually, I want to like talk to a psychologist and see what it's all about. I read some on it. It's way darker than it looks. It's like... <laughs> all, every time you joke at someone, they're like, you're testing your friendship with people. I'm like, that sounds awful. Like we should never joke then. Like that's so. It's like demented. verbal sparring. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like a weird. It's a weird thing how they described it. But for me, it's like I, the last office job I had, I felt a little out of place. Till someone's like, oh man, you really fucked that one up. And I was like, oh, you like me. You're you like swear on your okay. podcast. I do now. Oh my God. It's, you it's bad a whole boy. New, it's a whole new. You allowed to? Yeah. Okay. Just cool. Just for the adult content, or the whole thing switching up. You're here. Okay, my posture. Rebirth. Okay. Um, sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. I felt like I was hunchback. I'm like, did you swear? <laughs> we don't do that in Notre Dame. But isn't that the thing though? And like, like as soon as someone opens the door to um to being mean to someone, you're like, oh, okay. Like if if you like them enough, you're like, oh, now I now I can play. I actually like that person a little bit better. It's like how you can bust balls with your friends and like, that's, that's a good sign of things. Like that's how you feel more comfortable. Um, so there's like this weird dynamic. Yeah. And it seems like it's all based around the idea of like how well, you know, the person, cause if a stranger did that online, like if someone made fun of you online and a friend said the same exact thing in person, like you're going to feel a completely different way, even though it's the exact same thing, because like, it's how close, like you can tell it's coming from love versus not. But I, I think it's fascinating. Me and my friends were actually talking about this probably there and they're not comedians. Very funny, but not comedians, but they're, we were talking about this probably two weeks ago. Yeah. There's an art to that. There's an art to roasting. And there's like, like some people I was, I actually said this, some people do it wrong. Some people try to go for the jugular and try to take out like actual true, like really yeah. mean things. That's not the way to do it. Cause that comes from like a hateful, I'm trying to one up yeah. the place. Well, that's, if you're just, you know, playing back and forth, it's like dogs do dogs roll around and bite each other. Like yeah. for fun. Well, that's what we're saying. Like, that's the other thing I read. It's like, it's like, that's what me and my fighting. friends do too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we roast each other and then we wrestle and nibble on each other's necks. Join the Trevor Glassman wrestling <laughs> ring. I can't wait to send them this clip. That is so absurd. I'm arrested. But that's what there's like if, when people are fighting. It's like you can play fight, and then there are times you can go too far. It can actually hurt. But like that's yeah. that's the metaphor of it. But I, but the person who does that, the person who takes it further and like tries to go for the juggler, you already won psychologically because they feel they, that they need to go to that level. Yeah, I mean, and then and that shows they're not as cool as you thought because they should be able to take it and dish it back, and it should be like a friend thing. Or they one up you, 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 they go for your juggler, you go back at the juggler, see how they respond. And then you shake and then you're like, all right, that yeah. dap it up. They had to know. You ex- That's how every that roast battle should end with a hug. We got each other. Yeah. yeah. And that was we roast the ones we love. That's, that's what Comedy Central is thing. Yeah. Except but, the internet can go crazy. And, but, <laughs> and that's for me, I've always been very scared and very timid. I'm not a person to actually do that so often. And like, it's been a struggle for me. And like, that's, that's why I'm logically thinking through. I'm like, hey, wait, how is this actually nice? And how is it actually helpful? Like you'd rather get told you're doing bad at your job than pat on your back the whole way until you get fired. Yeah. Like you'd rather like there's certain times where saying something mean is helpful, but I really wanted to, cause you're, you're much better at it than me. I think you're at, better at roasting. You're telling them that I'm meaner than you. Is that what you're saying? We'll you're just naturally we'll worse of a person than me. No, I think like on stage you can pull it out and you can spit it back in an audience at a way that actually turns because 
in comedy, it is helpful to be mean at the audience members who are distracting from the show because it ruins the show for everyone else. Like it's not their show. It's everyone's show. Um, but I'm not very good it's at that. Show. You said they shouldn't really come out and see you, which is how I actually feel. <laughs> <laughs> but we sold but then that. I said they should totally care. And then I didn't get to tell them that it was for self esteem issues, but they should yeah, totally. But <laughs> come to Curbside Comedy. We sold out tickets. and um, But I wanted you to say the meanest thing you could about me and still be my friend right now. On the spot? On the spot. Okay. Because um, I, I need someone to open that floodgate. And yeah. And see, it's like immersion therapy because I'm not very good at that. You look like if Flat Stanley went through a divorce. What? Flat Stanley? You don't know what Flat Stanley is? So you know what? Fla- Comment. Did you ever go to first grade and read a book? They do it for Flat like Stanley? Flat Stanley. Dude. That sounds like an insult for. It's this. St- <laughs> <laughs> Connor, you're just gonna have to Google it. It's. Uh, it's, now we can't tell. Or, I don't know if we're friends though. Or just look no, at no. your, or just look at your pictures from like ten years ago. You'll be like, oh, that's flat Stanley. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go for the mustache because I no, feel no, like no, I, I like really look like Aaron you know Rodgers without any money or talent. Yeah, you could you could go with that too. I, uh, um, or if Aaron Rodgers worked for a marketing firm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's getting married. You like HR or something. <laughs> Yeah. I really feel like I'm right. I can't work wait for work's too. over so me and HR can talk about what we're not allowed to say at work. <laughs> and then write each other up yeah. because we just feel too uh, embarrassed. This was weird. We had too many <laughs> drinks and at eight o'clock, Connor said the F word. <laughs> yeah. What did you ask me before I, my ADHD Oh, took I over? said uh, Aaron Rodgers is getting married oh. to Shana Woodley. Oh, good for him. Yeah, I legit know? don't care. Like, oh. not even this much. I always thought she. she the was only quarterback player. I care is the greatest quarterback of all time, which is Tom Brady. Oh, I thought you were going to say Dan Orlovsky. <laughs> <laughs> Close second. Um, unless, unless you have more mean things to say about me, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to see if I could spar. Obviously, I can't. I, it's immersion therapy. Connor, you're so thin that I get weary when the air conditioning comes on because I think you're going to blow around like a deflated balloon. See, I'm just here to be like, wow, our AC bill was high last month. <laughs> I'm like, man, I better be able to go turn it off. But you didn't, you weren't mean to. Now you're just asking me to be yeah, mean. Yeah, I know. There so was no go battle. Back and forth. Yeah. You want to take a shot at me? I don't know. That's the thing I was seeing. No, you if can I actually could. take two. Yeah. It's pretty hard. I, mean, I, I got my hairline. I got my I know. I've heard your acts too, too many what times. Else? Yeah. Um, you look like. Coming over here, you you're doing a combination of headbanging and crying to some Blink 182. Oh man, <laughs> is it too too right. close? No, I mean like no, that's fine. Like you don't actually tell them my lifestyle, but oh. you could. It's like a jab that they're supposed to know for me. Not like, hey, I know that you've done that <laughs> since you were 15. That's that's for the jugular, dude. Man, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. Like I don't know the gauge, and that's that's legit. Like I'm not making this is not. I also don't have my glasses on, so yeah. the amount of sight that I can... I do think your glasses, though, build the persona of like a Buddy Holly, like Weezer Buddy Holly feel. To don't it. insult me like that again. That's not the a... The roast is oh, over. Oh, you hate Buddy... Oh, you hate Weezer. The roast is oh, over. Oh, I like Weezer. That was yeah. a compliment. The roast is over. Well... You won. Come you won back next your, time for when does failed insults. Yeah, this okay. is this is how you bully people. You bring them on your show. You go, just roast me, just roast me, and then you're actually mean to them. See what you've done? Yeah. Let's you give it up a trophy. For... <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know how. And that's why I need to learn more. But also, like, I know you're not supposed to back down when you say something either. Yeah, also, because... if you if I knew I was going to roast you, I would have, like, I would have... Yeah, but I want to put you on longer. the... Because this is friends don't think about it. Yeah, that's true. But I also... Like think about everything like fifteen times before I say. You also it. text like an English teacher, and it actually annoys me. I was talking to a buddy yesterday. He does all exclam- uh, all punctuation correctly, all grammar. I, I'm I'm not. You're not extra. what I go. Should not I come extreme. over this time? And you go, yeah, comma, sure, period. When you could just go, yeah. <laughs> See, this is how you roast people. Yeah, I you did it. I feel graded texting you. <laughs> I'm like, is this an A minus or a B plus? Can I ask him for lunch? Uh, Question mark. I can have you on later, and I'm gonna. Uh, You're an nice English list. teacher's dream. I was. Yeah. I was really. I want to be a writer. I want to be a poet. Actually, I want to be a poet. But when I was young in college, but I didn't drink or do drugs, which was really problematic because all great poets, yeah, were alcoholics. Of course. So uh, that's why I turned to comedy. Yeah. Well, hey, 
Same thing. Before wrapping it up, do you want to talk about Haywire Radio? Which I know, are you still doing the, I, I haven't been following as much as I should. Yeah, that's okay. The, that's the you, roast of yeah, it all. Yeah. We're friends, by the way. I don't care about anything you do. I, I care. No, See? No, I'm kidding. We all have our, we're all busy, dude. If we could keep up with everybody's stuff, we would need 48 hours in a day. Are you doing the uh, thing where you, have you, have you had high success con people doing the, the character you were talking about before? Yeah. So far it's fun. I get to be a kind of a more wild version of myself where I just go for an hour, my brain's going to take over. Yeah. No consciousness, no rules. I just get to go. And people call in. What's the number? 904-413-1828. I'll put it in the comments. Again, 904-413-1828. And again, you can only call when I'm on because if you just call when I'm not on, I'm not going to answer. It's very simple. I have my own cell phone. 603 for for all the girls. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Don't put that one up, please. No, you can put the clip, but not my actual phone number. I beg of you. One final roast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, please. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Google well, Flat Stanley, by the way. I will. Yeah, that's I'll a great it. insult. We could actually, that's a real computer. Do you want me to just. It's, they're not going to be able to see. It's not do focused. It. Yeah, do it. Um, It'll be good plug yourself. Us. Plug yourself as I do that. Okay. And uh, we'll wrap up. Okay. Instagram. You can follow me at the Trevor Glassman. My name uh, with a the in front of it, but it, I can't say the Trevor Glassman. It's the Trevor Glassman. Um, I don't have narcissism, by the way. And you can follow me on TikTok for uh, politically somewhat incorrect TikToks at uh, Joaquin Penis. <laughs> is that, really that is my at. Yeah, that is my at. Did you change it? Yeah, I changed it. Uh, I, I figured I look like Joaquin Phoenix and I'll make it kind of funny. And I changed it to Joaquin Penis. And can you put that on there? Are you loud? You said the F word. Yeah. It's my handle. And <laughs> <laughs> you guys should yeah. handle my Joaquin. So Instagram, the Trevor Glassman. TikTok at Joaquin Penis. And then you can follow the Haywire Radio Show accounts at Haywire Radio Show on Instagram and TikTok. I don't know if they can see the focus is good enough. That's Flat Stanley. Maybe I'll, I'll put it in a little bit better in post. I just want to say that's a great compliment. Look at that hairline. Look at that. Hair. That's all I see. I'm kind of jealous. Oh, like, yeah. I was really going for this one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You can see that. I'm like, that's not the flat Stanley I remember. It's this one. Oh yeah, that's yeah. that's definitely more accurate. Yeah. Yikes. If he went through a divorce, that's where the, <laughs> that's where the mustache comes in, and then the wavy hair. Well, um, I don't know how to sign off this show. This is the first time we're doing a thing, so yeah, I might send it back to me, and we might end it there. Um, yeah. But thanks dude. for coming on. No, dude. Thanks yeah, for having yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. Um, this is really fun. I'll have you back Short on the roast. Yeah. Yeah. You, that's what they say about point. me in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've been practicing abstinence since COVID. Practicing. Not willingly. Really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, <laughs> I had fun. <laughs> Working 95 hours at the office, but I need to learn my words better. <laughs> <laughs>